This is Josh from Steven Slate Audio. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the VSX system in your DAW. Now let's get started. First, open your DAW and locate VSX from your available plugins. VSX should always go on the master bus as the last effect in the chain. And please note that since VSX adds the dynamics of real rooms and speakers, the VSX software operates at a lower volume. For that reason, it's important to bypass through the plugin using the level match bypass feature. Because if you bypass through your DAW, your levels will suddenly become louder, so be sure to always use the level match bypass feature. And if you're A-Bing between VSX and your studio monitors, remember to set up your chain so you don't have the VSX plugin applied. Otherwise, you're going to be adding additional room emulation to the room that you're already in. And as a reminder, VSX is automatically bypassed on export, so that's one less thing that you have to worry about. And now, you're ready to mix in pro studios, cars, and other incredible spaces from anywhere in the world. That's all for me, and happy mixing.